Hello everyone, my name is Eric Galco and I'm joined today by former Virginia Union offensive tackle turned NFL draft prospect David Mims. David, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good, keeping busy, keeping busy, busy time of year right now. And uh, Dave, the first thing I want to ask you about is, you know, at your size at, at 6'8", 343, um, weight's obviously a concern with how you fill in at the next level. Are you left tackle, right tackle, and, and what system you can fit in based on your weight? Um, what do you think is the best way you can manage your weight and, and, and still get a good chance to play in the NFL in a variety of systems? Well, basically, just uh, changing on my diet. Uh, I'm actually 333 right now. Um, so, you know, just change up the way, you know, I eat, you know, just, you know, and stay exercise uh, regularly. You mm -hmm. know, I don't think it's going to be a problem in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you played the East West Shrine game uh, a couple weeks ago, and, and I know you were. Yeah, you felt like people I talked to said felt you had a good week in practice. And how do you think that win? And, and who was the best guy you faced during the week? Uh, probably uh, Stephen Friday from Virginia Tech. Um, he was on my team. Uh, you know, we had some good uh, uh, one on one of the practice. Um, I thought I did well. Um, you know, the whole week, you know, I think I helped myself out a lot during uh, practice. You know, showing out uh, what I could do as far as you know, pass blocking. Mm -hmm. And you didn't. You getting a chance to talk to one of those scouts? Yeah, I talked to, talk to a few of them. Uh, most of them I had already talked to. Because I had uh, participated in the HBCU Bowl back in 2017. Mm -hmm. And I talked to a few of them. And I think I talked to one of them Okay, I, know, I mean, obviously you had some attention around you at the East-West Shrine game, being invited there as well. Um, were you frustrated by the fact that, that you weren't a combine invite or are not a combine invite as of now? And you brought up your pro day. Um, how are you training for that pro day, and what do you what do you plan on working out as? Well, I've been working out at Ignition in Cincinnati. Uh, that's where I am right now at the moment. Um, been up here for the last, say about last three weeks, three four weeks. You know, I've been working on you know doing drill work and you know getting ready for my pro day so I can you know put the best times out there. Mm. I know you've been working with uh, former offensive tackle in the NFL, uh, Hall of Fame offensive tackle Anthony Munoz. Um, what have you got a chance to learn with him and talk to him about as far as being an NFL offensive tackle? Well, when uh, he came in and worked with us uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, you know, it was, first off, he just, you know, talked about, you know, just being an NFL player and being an NFL lineman and what it takes, you know, behind the scenes to the work done as far as studying and taking care of your body. And, you know, showed me a couple things yesterday as far as technique work, um, just, you know, putting work in, you know, hand placement. Now you know you work with him and work on your hand plays and things like that. What else have you been working on as uh, the draft leads up to in kind of late April? And do you think you can play a left tackle in the NFL with your size and your strength as a as more of a mauling running running blocker? Do you think you'd be a pass blocker and a left tackle in the NFL? Yeah, I think I'm capable of doing it. You know, I still have some ways to go, but I definitely have a confidence in myself to be able to play uh, in this tackle. Mm -hmm. Now, do you model yourself after any current or former players um, in the NFL right now as far as developing yourself to be somewhat like them or, or similar to what their skill set is? Advantage against you know smaller ends in the league. 
<clears throat> and finally, what else? What are you planning on working on and, and running at 40 yard dash time and, and your bench press as well? Uh, well, the 40, I'm going to run under, under a 5-3. Okay. And finally, what are the what is the biggest question? Um, as if there is any questions about um, NFL scouts are talking to you about when they do get a chance to talk to you as well. Well, it was in the beginning it was a level of competition for me coming to a D two, D two school. But I think I acquired that when I went to a Division one bowl game. It's doing the same thing I was doing for the Division two players. So um, I think you know that was probably the biggest question. You know, they sometimes they ask about so I'll be able to. Okay. All right. Well, David. Well, I appreciate the time to talk to us today. Uh, good luck in your training. Hope you get a chance to, uh, you know, make good friends with Anthony Munoz. He's definitely a guy you want to be able to to talk to before the draft and during your NFL career. But but thanks again for joining us today, and we'll talk to you more soon. And again, that was David Mims, former offensive tackle of Virginia Union, now NFL draft prospect and, and one of the better sleeper prospects, similar to how Jared Velder was uh, last year in the draft from Hillsdale, a D2 prospect at left tackle, or maybe right tackle as well, who could make an impact in the NFL early on in the right system. But, but thanks again for joining us today. I appreciate it. Again, my name is Eric Alco from Optimum Scouting. We'll talk to you more soon.